Hi there everyone, it's me Lamer Gamer. hope you're all doing well. Now today's video is an unboxing and setup guide on using foot pedals to control your Discord or push to talk functions in your PC. Yeah, I get you, it sounds really strange and why would I want to do this? There's a few reasons really, mostly for um, when I'm streaming I like to have both my hands either holding the controller so I can focus on gaming and or the keyboard and mouse or be pressing things on my stream deck. I don't really want to be doing push to talk or toggle in discord it's just another thing to like click off the screen and just slow down stream so i heard a few people talking about like possibly using this but i've never seen anybody really do this there's probably loads of people out there that have done it but i thought you know what i'm gonna give it a go myself and hopefully i'll be able to show you how to do it as well if you do like this video and want to see more like it don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you know every time i go live or post a new video I also stream regularly on Twitch and I've started streaming a lot more now on YouTube. So if you head over here sometime, you can come and ask me some questions about some things I've raised in this video. Let's open the box and get playing with those foot pedals. So the foot switch we are going to be trying today is the Decent Gadgets 3 Keys PC foot pedal thing. Yeah, that, that, that is the name. It's made by Decent Gadgets and it's a free pedal foot pedal actually it looks like this let's go to the unboxing okay so here is our box with our foot pedal in i bought it on amazon i'll put a link in the description below and uh yeah we can see what it's all about so first of all i'm gonna open the box and we're gonna see what it looks like so here on the front of the box it's called a foot switch fs3-p i don't know what that means probably because it's got three foot pedals i guess and inside the box is another box I'll take that out of the box. So first impressions, it's in a bag inside of a box, within a box. So it looks like it's been packaged pretty well. Um, pressing the little buttons here. It looks like they're quite responsive and easy to press, so shouldn't be an issue. It uses what looks like a USB, standard USB cable, so that makes it nice and easy for it to plug into my PC. That It did also come with a driver CD, although I don't know anybody whose PC now has CD trays, but it's nice to know it's there. There are three foot pedals, as you can see. It says foot, switch. Just in case you didn't know what it was from the outside of the box, because it says three keys PCU itch, we know it's a foot switch, and it's a foot switch. Foot switch. I don't know how many more times I can say this or make this any more interesting. I know. Foot switch. The pedals look like this. That's all you need to do to activate the foot pedal. And it comes with a USB cable. So all we're gonna do then is plug that into the PC and see what happens. Okay, so I'm now gonna plug the foot switch in. I've got the USB cable here and I'm gonna plug it straight in. The reason I'm sharing this screen as it is, is so that you can see if anything pops up. So we're gonna plug it into the front just because it's easier to access. Okay, I saw a notification or something appear in the bottom right hand corner of this screen here. So we'll have a look. Device is ready. USB device is set up and ready to go. So if we click this. What does it do? HID keyboard device. So like I said, I want to use this for my Discord and I want to be able to use it to toggle my mic on and off when I'm talking to Discord chat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Discord now. By the way, if you guys haven't already joined it, please do jump into our Discord channel. You can find it here at the bottom of the video. Our Discord is full of amazing people. We also all give each other advice on streams and how to do different technical things. Uh, what would it be under? Voice and video. Okay, and then we do push to talk. And the push to talk button, I'm going to edit the keybind here. And I'm going to press the right side foot pedal. Oh, okay. That's what that does. Edit. What does that do? A. B. Okay, that's interesting. How do I change that? So basically, I'm thinking if I went into Microsoft Word, opened a blank document like I have, and I press left, middle, right, it's written A, B, C. <laughs> Brilliant. I now need to change this to be something not a letter that I would use. Yeah, A, a is quite commonly used as a left like to strafe left or move left basically i want to have it as a combination of buttons just not alt f4 uh all right let's figure out how to change this then as there weren't any instructions included in the box i had to go back to the amazon page where i bought it from i then found a comment here that said that there is a configuration tool you can download pcsensor.com so if i head here see what this does okay so it looks like 
this is my foot switch. So if I go foot switch V734, which looks like the latest version of it, let's see what happens. I'm now going to open that. We're going to go next. Install it in a default place. Everyone. Next. All right, we're just loading it in now. Uh, foot switch has been successfully installed. Click close to exit. Okay. I'm going to close that and I'm going to shrink this down. I will put a link to this on the website, um, on the video as well. But I open up foot switch now. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's currently searching for the device. Ah, there we go. And instantly, boom, there it is. And it's picked up that it's this foot switch, FS2020, I think. Either way, it's figured out that it's left key, middle key and right key is that. That can be, um, what's a good one? Um, shift that, okay. So that should work now. So if I was to go into Discord again. Oh, save to save all keys. That would make sense. So that downloads into it. And press this button, edit key bind, like that. Then have a press this. Hello? Nope, nothing at the moment. That plus left shift. Okay, that might do it now. Save to key. Successfully save to key. Okay, so if I press this. Hello. Right control plus that. Interesting. Consider it had me think it was plus left shift. Hmm, there's a few little isms going on here, but hello. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. It works. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay. So once I've decided that the middle key is going to be number pad nine in this instance, I'm going to press save to key. It will save. And then what I do need to do then is go into Discord. Then I need to click edit key bind, press the pedal I want to use for my push to talk. And there we go. It's saved. Just to prove that it does work, we go back into here where it says live streaming. You can see me here. I'm not, I'm trying to talk, but there's obviously nothing coming through yet. If I press it down now in the middle, hello, and I'm talking. And there we go. Live talking and off. There we go. It's annoying that I had to um, download some secondary or proprietary software, but apart from that, it's gone in pretty well. Okay, well, that went well. So apart from needing additional software, which we managed to find, which I will post a link to in the description below, it worked fine. There's something weird that the keyboard doesn't seem to think that it thinks that shift is control or something, but we figured it out. Uh, it might be a setting with the software, maybe. Goodness knows. Yeah, we will take that as a victory, I think, guys. Really good foot pedal, exactly what I wanted to use it for. So um, from now on, I won't be muting and unmuting myself in stream anymore. It will be push to talk all the way. I'll find some other cool things to do with these foot pedals as well, because um, there's three pedals and I'm not going to use them all to toggle my mute on and off. So yeah, if you have any recommendations on things to do with the foot pedal, then let me know. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful um this is the first time i set up like i said hence there was a lot of head scratching involved but yeah if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you know every time i go live and uh i stream regularly on twitch and i'm streaming more regularly now on youtube so catch me on either of those uh but yeah in the meantime you take care and i'll see you online cheers